Alright, hello everybody, and welcome to the third episode of Misguided Podcast. It is actually October 31st, Halloween 2015. Whoa! If you listen to Spooky Scary Skeletons Plant by Andrew Gold, you turn into a skeleton. Spooky Scary Skeletons. At 12 p.m. At 12 a.m. Exactly. Guys, are just skeletons. When you chew, a skeleton chews for you. <laughs> oh my oh my gosh. gosh uh one thing i want to say before we actually get started is that for those who listen and see that our tracks disappear on sound nobody cloud, listens we have listeners they ha i don't da, 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 oh. da, da, da. Dun, dun, dun. what the fuck I I rushed home. I'm we here. We just started. We so just, just started too. With this entrance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we actually oh didn't think God. Wolfgang was gonna duh, be. Duh, I was about duh, to say that, duh. but uh, I guess he made it. Duh, um, duh, anyways, duh. doubting what Steven says, we have people who listen. Duh, I have a couple friends duh. from school who do listen. You have friends? Yes, I have friends. <laughs> Thank you, motherfuckers. <laughs> Go back to. So there, we do have like listeners. For back those now. who are wondering uh, why the episodes disappear, SoundCloud has a time limit, and I can't. They were get derezzed. Throw. They were derezzed. Yeah, they're there. They're hidden. So by it's... the by guy from Tron Legacy. So I feel like if we do uh, the SoundCloud feed <clears throat> and then it uploads to iTunes and Google Play, it'll just save them there, and then SoundCloud will explode. Tron Legacy is an underrated film. Tron so, Legacy. I mean, I'm going to continue to upload to SoundCloud, but the older episodes are up on YouTube, and we're looking in other places. To Tron Legacy is an underrated limit, film. So. I like the soundtrack for Tron, Tron Daft Legacy. Punk. So, uh, Wolf, where were you? Yeah, where were you, Wolf? I was... It's... it's I don't you know. don't need to tell us. You don't need to tell us. I want to know. I, I want to know. I was doing Halloween things, too. So It's undisclosable. I can't say such things. It's all right. Oh... Uh, uh, I was okay. dressed up as a shark for Halloween, handing out candy. <laughs> Were you really? and, uh... Wait, you actually bought that shark costume? Yeah, I've had it. Uh, for 30 days, I've had it. But, uh... oh, wow. <laughs> but anyway, uh, a group of high schoolers showed up, and one of them didn't have a costume on. And I was like, guess what my costume is? And you know, I was like, you're a high schooler? And he was like, I'm Steve from State Bomb. And I was like, oh. Okay. And he's like, what's your costume? And I was like, I'm a shark. I'm a shark. Uh, isn't I'm it pretty shark. obvious? I'm a cop. I should have said that I'm a cop. <laughs> and you'll be like, oh! <laughs> Mr. Fuji. Fuji. Forgets Fuji-yama. line, looks at camera. Fuji Yama. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, now that we're all here and here Mr. for the spectacular Fuji-yama. Halloween Fuji-yama. special that I don't know what we're really doing. Let's talk about Casper Spirit Dimensions on the Nintendo GameCube. What a fucking what? random game dimension. <laughs> What the fuck? Does that really exist? I have it right here. I have it. I'm looking at the copy. I'm looking at the copy right now. So I, I oh the God. future of the spirit world is on your shoulders. Spirit- the cover is horrifying. <laughs> you, you're looking at it. I'm looking at. That it. That was a spooky game. That was a spooky game. What the fuck? That um, spirits and spells was also a really spooky game on the GameCube. Yes. GameCube, number one system for horror games. Geist? Is there Geist? any Jimmy Neutron games on the GameCube? I don't know. I never owned a GameCube, so I don't know what is on the GameCube. That's a problem. I, didn't need I played it, my I played friend's GameCube. Luigi's so. Mansion, though. I experienced That's true. That's like Luigi's Mansion terrified game. me as a child. Like, when you open the doorknobs, when you open the doors with the doorknobs, not, you don't open doorknobs, but when you open the door with the doorknob, uh, what? it was pretty scary stuff. There was... I thought Metroid Prime was pretty scary. There was a Jimmy Neutron game. In the uh, game. I didn't play Metroid Prime. Yeah. Metroid Fusion, though. Metroid Fusion was scary. Your freaking power well, suit is being controlled by a parasite and hunting you down, yes. and you can't fight it. The game it's called The Adventures of Jimmy Neutron. Lego Game Drone Genius Racers. Jet. Barbie the Express Adventure was a scary, scary game. Barney? Barbie, and I don't even know if that game oh. exists. So There are actually some really good Barbie games out there, but I'm just saying that anyway. Um... <laughs> I'm not joking. There are some like A really? plus Barbie games out there. <clears throat> the one, the finger skating. Oh. 
when you right, least I'm expect like... it. Okay, so... We tried to come up with a plan for this podcast. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna put I, think I, I think we all filled it low key without. This is why we're called misguided because we can't even plan our plan. No, no but I think we planned. I think we did. I ha- I did make a list. I made one too. So I have a not list. Of, not of games though, to be honest. Well, it doesn't have to be of games. I just wanted. It could, I said it could be anything. You all didn't right, have to limit cool. yourself to games. I, I did all right. games. All right. Because. Uh, all right. <laughs> I haven't watched a lot of scary movies, so. What's your favorite? Oh wait, man! I got. I got All right, so do we want to go one person in a row, uh, <laughs> one by one by list? The listeners don't know okay, what. So I went to is. Walgreens today, and they didn't have any ghost-faced co- uh, masks, and I was like, "What is wrong?" They didn't have any what? ghost face masks. This is the one time I actually wanted one, and they didn't have any. <laughs> they didn't really. Do you know what the ghost face is? Isn't from from. from... Don't the don't. Movie. Yes, oh, the movie. Wait. Which movie? Don't don't. Scream. Yes! Wow! You did it! Wow! <laughs> yes! Wow! Wow! Okay, that's what I was thought it was, but like I always heard it being called as the scream mask. So, but uh, they really too. didn't have those. Those things are everywhere. MTV has a scream TV series, which is completely free online, and it's oh, actually yeah, supposedly not that. terrible. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna watch it tonight. I also bought Scream 4 on Blu-ray because I, I meant to. I was going. I was going to my local uh, game store, which also sells Blu-rays and DVDs, and I was like, I'm gonna get the French and English version of Scream. And of course, they sold out of that somehow. Some random person wanted that before I actually wanted it, and so. But instead, the Scream 4 Blu-ray and DVD was there, and I was like, Um, Wolfgang said this was an amazing film, so I need to. Really? I mean, it's not an amazing film, but it has he said it was moments. underrated. Underrated. It's underrated. So. I haven't watched it yet, but uh, I'm excited. Movie. I'm very excited. The, the only scream I've seen, I think I've saw three. It was either three or four. I don't remember which one. I'm very excited. I, I've seen four. four, and I saw one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, please, no. I, I like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Which one? The, the original? OG. Yeah. I have the original and a steel book sitting in front of me. Damn. It's pretty legit. I'm not gonna lie, most of my um uh, list for horror films is pretty shit because I don't really watch a lot of horror films. Uh, I love horror. That's my favorite genre, next to sci-fi. Wow. Well, I I don't even know where I drank horror. It's mm-hmm. probably not in the top. That's <laughs> true. I just don't I don't list I don't watch a lot of horror. A lot of academics do not like. A lot of academics do not like horror, but uh, I'm like the only know. one. But. <laughs> Uh, well, I feel like my choices are gonna be so stereotypical. Like I don't really watch a lot of horror, but you know these are those movies I like. Like some of them are not even that much of a horror film, but we'll get to it. All right. So who wants Vic- to go over Victor the list Frankenstein. first? Victor Frankenstein. Victor Frankenstein. I, I should go over uh, mine since I have like one thing on it. You have one thing. Yeah. Victor Frankenstein. Okay, I guess we'll go... Alright, Steven, what is the most scariest whatever thing you've ever been experienced to? Okay, um, because I don't play a lot of horror games or watch a lot of horror films, basically just Metroid Fusion. That shit's spooky. Metroid Fusion was somewhat spooky. You get infected. You get infected by a parasite, and then you have to have your power suit surgically removed, and then it fucking comes to life and hunts you down, and it's killing people. As you, and people don't know it's not you. And then you have to slowly build up your arsenal and fight that thing. And it's so spoopy. Like, it, it wasn't, it's not supposed to be a horror game, but it ends up kind of being one because you have, you have two things to worry about all the psycho infected creature things, and then your suit coming to kill you in your sleep. It's spooky. When I'm going to say that was the best on themselves. 2D. Metroid film. Uh, Metroid game. I'm gonna say that. Best 2D Metroid film. Um, Best 2D Metroid film. (laughs) Best 2D Metroid game. So I felt Metroid Prime was spookier. Because when the space pirate showed up, I got pretty spooked. Oh man. The only experience of Metroid I have is that one game Steven showed me, and I wanted to punch myself after just watching the scenes. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Other M is not that bad. 
I, I just watched the cutscenes and I, I literally could not stop watching it. I, I just, the voice acting hurt. Yeah, and the, 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 the way they take... The, 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 like, I don't know. I think there could have been better ways to, like, tell the story differently than the dialogue they choose, but whatever. So that's Steven List. So who wants to go next? Well, we're supposed to have a clap. Oh, there we go. What? Yay, Wait, this is a TED Steven talk. did something. Okay. This is a TED Yay. talk. Yay. Yay. Okay. So who's next? Oh wait, Pikmin three. That shit was spooky. Sean the Sheep. Steve. Okay. The newest. Sean, Sean the Sheep. Best movie. film 2015. Um. Uh. Um. Ant Man. Wait. Uh, what? Kung Fury. Wait. Okay. Is this your list? <laughs> this? No, this is actually not my list. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 scared from Ant Man. Dragon Ball Z: Resurrection of F. What the fuck? <laughs> Please stop. Best Cinderella. And um, uh, and Mission Impossible: Rogue Nation. All Mission of, Impossible: all, Rogue Nation was a pretty all scary of my film. favorite horror films aren't horror films, nor did and they all came out this year. Oh. <laughs> what about It Follows? Nah, that's an awful film. What are you talking about? Okay. I actually have that on my list. Was it so awful that you were scared watching it for your sanity? Um, it follows. It follows is like, a really good film. It's a good film. I didn't get too scared by it, but it's a it's shot very well and the soundtrack is done by disaster piece and it's very good i want to watch the babadook it's the same dude babadook's overrated bro but i want to watch it though it's good it's i don't know i feel like i have a problem with horror because i don't get scared by it and i don't mean to be that guy but it's just something that i've always don't be that guy i appreciate you sound like you have a cold uh, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've, I've had, like, sinus problems, and I felt kind of sick the entire You're day. You're broken. What? You're broken. I'm broken? Yeah, I, I was, I mean, like, when you guys called me, I was kind of, like, uh, like dying, and <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I could do this, but I'm like, I gotta do it for the team. Gotta do it. <laughs> he took one for the team, everybody. Let's give a round of applause to that. He took an Advil for the team. Took, uh, took that good old night pill for the team. I don't uh, support that. But anyway, um... You don't support that? What? Wait, what? Anyway, um... <laughs> what does that mean? What is medication? I, I mean, NyQuil like, makes you really drowsy. Well, yeah, that's I how I feel that. right now. Yeah, you sound you pretty drowsy. <laughs> well, okay, so, Wolfgang, do you want to go over your list, then? Uh, so The Shining, Stanley Kubrick. The Shining, I remember that. It is Where is this list? list? I watched this list. Movie. What? As number one or number or number whatever. Not ordered in any way. Oh, there you're not. If okay. I had to put it, it'd probably be Fantastic. number one. That would be, be, num- that would really? be the most scary with the shine. Uh, no, I don't think it's scary to be honest, but I appreciate it for its technical like quality. Uh, it's... To be honest, I don't really think any of these films are scary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just appreciate them all. Well, that's fine. Um, and then in terms of uh, Lynch films, David Lynch. There are four films I really love by him, and then there's three okay. of like, like short films he made early on in his career. Um, four of my personal favorites by him are Racerhead, Lost Highway, um, Mulholland Drive, and Inland Empire. I'd say Inland Empire is really the only pure psychological horror film he's made, but like all the other three films are all like have horror undertones, which kind of like is in any Lynch thing, like because they're all just kind of surreal. David and really Lynch. Creepy. Yeah, the guy's really spooky. He's like that old man that you see like at a McDonald's, <laughs> just staring into like the distance. Like, <laughs> but he's there. He's not doing anything. He's not even drinking his coffee. He's just kind of there. <laughs> just uh, real Lynch. quick, who is David Lynch? He's a the director. director. <laughs> oh, wait, what, what did he do? Because like I'm bad with directors. All the movies that Wolfgang just mentioned. Yeah, oh. and uh, he also he made um what was it? Oh my god, I'm so tired. I'm having a hard time remembering. Um, uh, bleh, something peaks. Oh my god. Ugh. Crimson Peak. Not Crimson Peak. No, why did I say Crimson Peak? Did I say? Did I just say Crimson? That's you just, said Crimson that's Peak. That's where okay. Del Toro's new film. Oh, I know. Twin oh, Peak. Twin Peak. I yes, Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Twin, Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. The show. It's really yeah, good. Yeah, it's not a movie. Wow. He also uh, uh, he did some other stuff, but whatever. Who cares? Like, he sounds familiar, but like I, I just I, I thought maybe I saw some of his stuff, but uh, 
Anyway, um, not. yeah, so those are some great films. Check them out. Twin Peaks, um, though. There's some awesome three short films he made like early on in his career when he was like first like getting the monies because he needed money to make movies, and um, I wrote them down. I don't know, you know, I'm not even gonna go over them because to be honest, they're all kind of just shit, but they're funny. And they're, they're interesting Although, to take. They're interesting to take a look at because you get to see like the early career of a director, and that's just something indeed. you really don't get to see very often. Um, and then I have Alien and Aliens down. Aliens. Both for, both I, for completely different reasons. I I don't think aliens. I don't. I wouldn't alien, consider I Aliens. I wouldn't I consider Aliens a um horror film as much of a is it is a action film yeah but it does have horror elements i understand yeah Yeah, and i I, I I feel like i had to shout it out if i was gonna mention alien yeah because you know james cameron and that's my favorite james cameron i remember the first alien i don't know which i like better alien i i like alien better but alien's good it takes a long time to build up though but uh and then i have perfect blue by director really Which, again, isn't a straight-up horror film, but has a lot of horror elements. That bathtub scene. That bathtub scene. Uh, it's Requiem a great film. for a dream. Yeah, so check it out. And if you're into anime, it's an anime film, so check it out. Perfect it's a good blue. introduction. I think to I've Perfect Blue, then. It's a good movie. Because it sounds uh, And that's, that's it for my movie list. I'll, I have a, I have a um, music list, but I'll get back to it, because I have to go for a sec. I'll be right back. Okay. So, well, he's... Uh quietly out the room uh joseph do you want to go or do you want me to go i'll go okay all right i really love the thing the 1982 film i love that film so much the thing john carpenter's the thing which is a remake of the 1950s film the thing from another world which is a film adaptation of John Campbell's Who Goes There short story, hmm. which is good. Uh, but the 2011 prequel slash remake prequel is also really good. Um, and I... the game for the thing is A+. Is it's it? A-plus video game. Um, A+. Plus. I love it. Uh, Maybe I should play it sometime. I'm always that and for Cold game. Fear, which is kind of a Resident Evil 4 copy, but <clears throat> it is A plus as well. Cold Fear is a good game. Uh, I'm gonna go with Alien as well. I like Alien. Uh, Alien Three, I also like, even though the rest of the world hates Alien Three. I like Alien Three. Alien Three and Alien Resurrection are good films, but they're not scary. Um, the only Alien I've ever seen is the first one. I haven't seen the other ones. I don't think. Oh, the first one's good. Um, good. it's a classic. Uh, um, John Carpenter's Halloween. Not the Rob Zombie remake, although there are good elements in the Rob Zombie remake. There's so uh, many Halloween movies I like. <laughs> I don't okay. Really know. Oh, no. things back. We're going over. Joseph's but book. John Carpenter's Halloween. Great. I movie. like. It is good. I almost saw it in the theaters on Thursday, but then I was like, I can't make it to this. So I can't That's do an it. Awesome uh, soundtrack too. Yes. <laughs> Halloween Two also has a really good soundtrack. <laughs> Halloween Two has an like underrated soundtrack, and The Thing also has a really good soundtrack. But uh, The Thing does too. Nineteen eighty two. I know. I love how you to clarify, not the remake. The, I, I like the remake as well. The remake prequel. I like that film a lot too. Even though they, the strange thing about it is that they have like a studio ADI has all of this prosthetics all these prosthetics and animatronics they made and they even filmed them but then apparently they took them out and they were just re-edited with cg over all of it for some reason and it makes no sense but uh the prosthetics uses was really good but uh whatever i I still like like i I still like it films don't use cgi as much as they uh like uh, wasn't i talking to you about this the other time like I miss Probably. where movies were uh, would use like puppets and animatronics over CGI because yeah, it looked more it realistic. Depends on how it's used. Uh, but anyway, well, um, they live. They what? Con- they live. Another I've Greek. actually not seen that. But I've seen. I've, <laughs> I've not seen They Live. Actually, that's a good. That's interesting. Um, it's not, it's not. It has very low 
horror games. That's interesting. Stuff. Scream, 1996. Classic. Go. Good stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Good stuff for its parody. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> parody um. Movie. No, Scream is a parody. Uh, slash. Yeah. Wait, it's like um, a parody thought... of slasher films. Yep. Is it? I yeah, thought... that's why it's really over the top. Well, I haven't seen the first one. I've only seen like the third one. Well, it's a horror film, but it's also and it, it's a slasher film, but in it, it's also a parody and against the horror genre it's, it's, and like a satire. Really? Yes, a satire. I yeah. never knew that. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, that's really why it goes down in history and not really for any of its horror elements. Um, just its yeah. ability to commentate on horror. Kind of like um, how the Cabin in the Woods did. And Scream 4 tried to do. But mm-hmm. I think Scream 4 was lost as marketed as a horror film. and Or I think like I think the youth culture that saw Scream 4 was like, this that's is a horror film. film. Yeah, they're like, what is this? And then they didn't understand that it was a commentary on cult current horror films. Yeah. But, you know, whatever. Uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is pretty intense. 1970s version, not the 2003 Michael Bay remake. Uh, <laughs> I I can't believe Michael Bay remade that. But uh, Michael Bay did. Michael Bay did the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003. He also did. Uh, I think Michael Bay was behind Friday the 13th, 2010. Was it 2010? I don't remember. But the remake of Friday the 13th and also um, Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Why he was remaking these, I don't... Well, I know why. Doesn't he usually do action movies? Wait, he was only producer on these. He didn't direct these. I don't even remember Uh, him doing any of these things. Yeah, he produced them. Uh, Actually, I don't know if he produced... I don't know if he produced Nightmare on Elm Street, but he produced Friday the 13th. What a strange man. Uh, he's an interesting man. Um, wait, what? No, he didn't. What? <laughs> he didn't direct any of these films. He didn't direct them. He produced them. Yeah, that's what oh, he just okay, said. He said right. he didn't direct I'm them. stupid. My bad. Them. Oh no, yeah, he, he did produced, not direct he produces, them. He produces a lot of fucking films yeah, though, and a lot of them are really bad. It, it's weird. Like even though like as a producer, he usually doesn't have much studio involvement. He st- the films still end up like coming out bad you know he was the like a production assistant and raiders of the lost ark was he yeah he was that's where he learned it man the only that's good tra- film that's where transformers ever... was born that was the only good film he ever worked on this entire career <laughs> you don't call transformers good wait you, yeah like the first one was really good the first transformers i, thought... no, I was being sarcastic i like but, um... i like i like the rock though i think that's a decent like film the, the, the rock the, always goes down in history Nick- with Nicolas Cage and With Sean Nick Connery. Cage. I like that film, actually. Wait, Joseph, you don't like the first Transformers? I like I like them. Uh, they're fun. I like Transformers 1 and 2. Uh, I think 3, it went downhill. But, I mean, if I was to look at them from, like, a really <laughs> Well, I'm just talking about the first one. I, I mean, the other ones, uh, the other ones are okay. They're... I don't know. <laughs> I, but, I, but I also have, like, I have a thing for Shia LaBeouf, so... <laughs> Do they love Shia uh, LaBeouf? Josh, what? I actually love Shia LaBeouf. No. Like, as an actor, I think he's absolutely hilarious. He's a pretty interesting man. Like, um, like have you ever seen the, some of the films he's in? He just, he Necro, always looks like he, wants, like he always looks like he wants to go home. In like, every it's single like, film he's in. Fuck this man. Fuck this movie. The even, the, the even Stevens movie was really good. I'm just I saying. That. That was but cool. um, Doom, also the Doom film, Doom, not Dune, Doom, 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 Doom with the Rock, with the Rock and Carl Damn. Urban. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know. What an interesting. I didn't see it, but I, I like that about. movie. I have the Blu-ray steelbook of that film. I just but... thought though, yo, Shia LaBeouf in Holes, it was so good. That was a good movie. That was. Good. <laughs> I fucking Holes. love that. The movie's hilarious. That has some deep elements, though. <laughs> like when they eat that onion together, <laughs> there's a bonding deep. moment. The bonding when he's in the hole with all the CGI like lizards. I know. With the Star Wars prequel lizards. <laughs> oh my fucking uh, god! I was watching Star Wars today for some rattlesnake movie. lipstick. 
I was watching Star Wars. Like, I was watching the special editions of the original sorry. trilogy. I'm kidding. I'm not sorry. And, but, uh... and like, these weird lizard things pop up. Yes. And I'm like, what the fuck? With the stormtroopers on top? Yeah, and I'm like, what? Why did they, like, drop them down on the planet with those lizard <laughs> things? <laughs> or did they get them? Like, like they them. just, like, see them there. Like, let's, let's fucking, ride them. like... Let's get him. Right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> and they, they walked slower on those and then provided and they them do. no advantage. <laughs> and they had spears. Like, what the fuck? Uh, deal with it. They, they had a budget cut that week, so they couldn't afford blasters or proper vehicles for the stormtroopers. That was in the original film. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so shout out to the special editions. For being like literally pointless. Shout out to George Lucas. <laughs> Shout out to George Lucas for his so career good. ending literally upon arrival. The bloopers for the prequel are so good. Oh my god, they are. Like they're so good. Especially like some of the prequel, like the like uh, the ones in um the first episode when like they're trying to do lightsaber tricks, but they were still getting used to it because it was the first film, and they yes. would like fuck up all the time. They're trying to do like the serious acting. And then all of a sudden, the R2-D2 droid would just go crazy and just, like, ram itself off screen. <laughs> Wait, didn't the guy from Mythbusters actually help work on R2-D2? Now that I think about I love it. How R2-D2, uh, he did work with the originals and the prequels. Hmm. Actually, I don't know about the originals. I shouldn't talk about it. I don't know if he did anything with the originals. I just remember that he had something to do with it. Speaking, speaking of spooky films, I mean spooky things though, how about that, that, um, what was that new Wii U game that was a horror game that everyone's shitting on? Zombie U? No, Steven. Steven. Hmm? What? What was that horror film, that that horror game that just came out? Uh, Made in the Blackwater? No, for the Wii U. Fatal Frame Made in the Blackwater. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, everyone's shitting on it. Really? They're no, they're not. Yeah, they are. Most people are liking it. The controls are just shit. Nah, everyone's shitting on it. I'm pretty sure, like, Polygon get like, a what fucking I've seen. kill yourself out of ten. I've seen the opposite. People are just having trouble with the controls. Most people are saying, this is pretty good. Especially since you can play the first chapter for free. Nah. What is I it? Refuse. Fatal? I don't like it. I'm fatal just Frame. Not, I'm just gonna not like it. I know it. it's Fatal Frame. Which one? Maiden of Blackwater. Maiden of Blackwater. I not like it for no reason other than the fact that I just don't want to like it. I don't know. Let's look at some of the reviews for this thing. I was going to download it because there's no physical release, but I don't have enough room on my Wii U. There's no physical release? What the fuck's wrong with that? Not in America because Nintendo of America hates Nintendo us. Nintendo just doesn't care anymore. They really don't. In Europe, they only release it physically as a special edition. So, they're fucked too, but at least they got a physical copy. That's true. IGN gives it a 7 out of 10, Not but I don't trust anything. IGN. I don't care. GameSpot says 5 out of 10, Metacritic is 3.5 out of 5. So, not bad. Everyone's just like, it's a... It's a it's... Oh, shit. These are some bad reviews. I don't know, I've heard that it's like, almost like, borderline so bad it's good. I was one of those because, like, I'm seeing reviews for, like, 2 out of 10, 3 out of 10 on, like, game packs. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, it can be, like, a bit repetitive and, like, it has very, like, kind of awkward controls. But it's, like, kind of, it's still kind of enjoyable because, like, the atmosphere and also the fact that it actually implements the gamepad, which I thought was cool because, like, no fucking does that. Oh, man, a lot of the negative reviews from users are, like, all the censorship drama. What because Nintendo censored? changed the costumes from a bikini to, like, not a bikini. Because yeah. the main characters are, like, what, 16? <laughs> Fucking goddamn it. I don't understand. Goddamn weebs. Wait, why oh, no. would the main character from Fatal Frame be wearing a bikini anyways? Isn't because, it? because in Japan they have a lot of skimpy-ass costumes. I don't care. Because... Because it's freaking Japan, but when oh, they wait, when these games like get localized, costume you can unlock right, not a main. Yeah, game. yeah, uh, it's not the default. I was gonna say, what the fuck? Isn't she walking like through some yeah. abandoned village like she usually? Yeah. Does? <laughs> I'm just like, what the hell? What the, are you talking about? 
Is Joe alive? Yeah, Joe just got back. I don't know what happened. I think uh, he left because the connection was crap, or he got booted. I don't know. Hi. It was breaking up for me. Yeah, it was breaking up for me, too. So, Hi. Hey, Joseph, back to your list. Did you finish it? No. No. Okay. I'm about, like, one-tenth of the way through it. A tenth of the way? <laughs> all right. Um. <laughs> He's like, all right, okay. All right, well, we better get... Fatal started. Frame is really good. The first uh, one? First one and the second one. I hear the third one's good. I, I can't play the fourth it. one. Well, I could if I wanted to, but I don't feel like importing it. Uh, the new one on the Wii U, hopefully, will be pro status. Well, we were just talking uh, about we're just, that We're one. just talking about that. I yeah, hope that's a good uh, There's game. a lot of mixed uh, reviews, because I'm seeing some good reviews, and then I'm seeing some really bad ones. Like, uh, like I saw a couple 8 out of 10s, and then like, uh, some 2 out of 10s, so I have no clue. IGN, 10 out of 10. IGN, it's okay. 10 out of 10? <laughs> um... Okay. Uh, I thought in Halo 1, when you first met the Flood, that, that spooked that me a little terrifying. bit. I got spooked a little bit. I, I got spooked. That is actually um, on my list, too. Halo 3, when you, like, are playing in that flood hive. Yes. Oh, my God. And, like, Cortana's, like, going Jump scares you? Shit. <laughs> yeah, she's really Cortana crazy. Jump scare. um, they need to bring back the flood for Halo. Stop spoiling Halo 5. Seriously. Like, How am I stop... spoiling Halo 5? You just 5. told me that Halo 5, is... the flood is not in Halo 5, basically. That's pretty much what <laughs> you just said. said. They, they just said that. stop talking about Halo 5. Yo, guys, I hate it. No more Halo. No more Halo. I hate, anyway, I hate oh. Halo now. I hate it. I just don't like it anymore. Anyway. <laughs> what the fuck? I never gave a shit. You gotta stop spoiling things. I'm oh, not spoiling man. anything. Yo, Everyone's dead in Halo. As soon um, as they took out Master Chief from Halo, they didn't. As soon as they took out, <laughs> as soon as they took out, like, as soon as they introduced Brutes, they took out Halo, my favorite character. I was just like, <laughs> what the fuck? Halo is such a good character. <laughs> I love yeah. it. They shouldn't have put Halo in Metroid. As soon as they took Sam. Master Sam Chef Sam. is so amazing. Master <laughs> Chef. <laughs> Mr. All the kids on the playground, Master Chef. Mr. I'm Master Chef. Chef now. Orbital was my favorite character, actually. <laughs> Blood Gulch is mine. Um, oh but God. I remember watching Red vs. Blue when I was a child, oh and just being God. like, "How are they filming this right now? They can't put a camera." <laughs> how are they in Halo. the game? <laughs> no, I was like, "How are they filming it? They can't put a like a camera in Halo. <laughs> what, what are they doing?" Then like you no notice. Sense. Oh wait. There's a reticle in the middle of the screen. I know, but I was like, how are they filming the game? Like, I didn't... The idea of capture card didn't cross my mind, because little child me was, like, stupid. So Are they recording was, this off screen? Yeah, I'm like, how are they recording it? With such good quality. I know, exactly. <laughs> um, Amazing. 2001 okay. quality. Um, also, I'm going to break this list. I'm going to break into this list for one second and say that uh, it's biggest surprise of the year equals Assassin's Creed this new one what? Syndicate? Is actually good? being a good game why uh, is it surprising? I felt like Assassin's Creed had like one bad game yeah, I, I thought it was good. really going downhill but this one what like, do you mean? this I one's getting a... good like, this one, this, what was people Assassin's are talking Creed about this one and they're like this one's really good cares? Assassin's Creed 3 was, like, boring as shit. Assassin's Creed 4 was, like, the least, like, any other Assassin's Creed game, and that was the only, like, that's why Unity was, was floating eyeballs. <laughs> 3 yeah, is no. boring as shit. I couldn't even get through the first couple chapters. Well, wait, Rogue... I kind of like 3, but I didn't like Desmond's story. Desmond's story was stupid, but... Stop spoiling things. <laughs> How am I spoiling? <laughs> Fuck you! Is the flood in it? <laughs> you tell <laughs> me one more time. Shot. That I am spoiling something. I'm gonna actually what spoil something. I'm gonna Yo, spoil I, the shit out of something. Yeah, the I next actually, time you tell me, I am I spoiling hate the, something. Yeah, I'm sorry for all the people named Desmond, but I hate the name Desmond. It's just a It's a pretty name. shitty name. Wow, name. all those Desmonds out there. There's like it's five. Reminds, it reminds you of a carpet. It just seems <laughs> carpet. Oh, what? Desmond's a carpet. carpet. You just call it carpet. Anyway, back, back to my talking. list. 
Uh, back to my list. Um, oh, yeah, back to Jack's list. <laughs> um. Hmm. Some of the chows you could get in Chow Garden were pretty what scary. What the fuck are you talking? Oh wait. Some of the what? Some of the chows. I thought you were, ta- I thought you were talking about films, and then you were just like the <laughs> chows. <laughs> Some of the chows you can get in Chow Garden in Sonic Adventure Two on the GameCube oh. is pretty scary. Doctor Eggman just walking Dr. around Eggman in Sonic Adventure with Two with the was chows. Oh my god. Sonic the Dream, uh, what was it? Um, the Dreamcast collection we, or something? Can we just talk about like how Sonic is just Oh, Sonic Dreams and... collection, oh my god. That was Sonic, terrifying. Sonic as an idea is just needs to go away. Sonic? Yeah. I, 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 have Sonic you seen the Twitter is... account for Sonic? Can they take Sonic out of Smash, please? Sonic as a franchise will be dead in 15 years. And I he not adds dead nothing already. to Smash. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway. Now? Anyway. No, back, no, like he won't get back any Back to years. my list. Um, oh, yeah, that's the list. Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 2 is a gem. Silent Hill 2 <laughs> Best is a game gem. ever made. Best game ever made. Let's Fuck talk about the Mario Silent Hill 64. film. I like that film. What? Don't what? hate me. Um, Did you say you like Super Mario 64, the film? I liked, I liked Silent Hill, the oh. film. Okay. Silent oh, Silent Hill. And I also kind of like I love the cover for the poster for Revelations, even though the movie itself was kind of whatever. But they have Sean Bean I, I in love, both I of love, them. I love the poster. And so I'm just like <laughs> it's nothing else about the movie. I just like the poster. And no spoilers, but Sean Bean is in it, so uh, he dies. you know what happens. He um, dies. Jupiter <laughs> ascending. Sean Bean doesn't die. Spoiler doesn't. alert. Does he actually live? He lives in Jupiter Ascending. They couldn't That's kill him off. Fuck. Oh yeah. That movie shit. Also, movie. people are saying people are are saying Jupiter Ascending is the new um. What was it? Was this one movie with a? It was like War on Earth or something. Ah, what? Oh, Battle Battleship ba- Earth or something. No, Run Earth. Battlefield Earth or something. Battlefield Earth. The you know, you know the movie I'm talking movie. about. Yeah, the Scientology. They're movie, like, this John is the, the new Battlefield Earth, and I nah, was like, I don't think it's is, that bad. No. That movie is horrible. <laughs> Waterworld. Though the Wachowskis, I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, like, what are you guys doing? Stop working together anymore. Like, <laughs> honestly, clearly, you don't know how to work together anymore. Apparently, after they saw Ghost in the Show, they showed they went up to their producer for the Matrix, and they were like, "This is what we want to do in real life." But Matrix is great though, so I'm not. I'm not and I think the Wachowskis have like one. I actually, I think they're gonna come back. Someday. I actually low key come back? really like. I kind of like the second and third Matrix movies. I'm gonna be I'm honest. Gonna I love the titles for the second. The title for the second film. What I don't was it? like. I think they're 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 kind of meh, but like I kind of like them as like. Matrix Apple Reloaded Apple. is such a good name. The Matrix. I love that. That is a pretty the good name. The Animatrix. The yeah, Animatrix. <laughs> that's I a real film. That's good, uh, Wait, that's a real film? What the fuck? Yes. Yeah, I've never seen it, but I heard it was good. Yeah, I hear, oh. it's, it's, I hear it's really good. Um, I have it, but I haven't watched it. Because uh, I have the Matrix collection, and I haven't watched it. I've only seen it. Yeah, I haven't opened one. the collection. Uh, it's a pretty mediocre car, though. I don't know. The soundtrack for the Matrix is so good. Yeah, oh my god. Like, they made a soundtrack Rob- for a car? Rob Dugan. Rob Dugan. Dugan. Shut up. We're talking about the movie. Furious <laughs> Angels. That is I want to leave you far behind. Look I want to take you on a roller coaster. <laughs> I don't even know what that... I mean, the album Furious Angels by Rob Dugan is mostly what the soundtrack consists of. But anyway, so back, back to my horror list. Um, okay. The Fourth Kind I have a strange interest in. Uh, I haven't seen The Fourth Kind. I'm not going to call them horror, but I like the Resident Evil films. <laughs> Paul W.S. Anderson, I have a weird fascination with him. I like the Resident Evil films. They're pretty, uh, Paul I mean, W.S. Like Anderson. <laughs> I mean... Mortal I... Kombat. Oh. But I like your films, Paul W.S. Anderson. I like them. Um, I wonder what Paul Thomas Anderson and Wes Anderson feel about Paul W.S. Anderson. Paul W.S. Anderson. Is that a ship? Um, no. Oh. Those are directors. <laughs> Okay. I never um, know what you guys. Okay. Uh, Akira Kurosawa's dreams. Uh, there is one dream in that movie that is absolutely kind of scary, spooky, horrifying. 
kind of horrifying. Yo, just watch it. Shout out to Veggie Tales, the one episode with the lie. That episode scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Shout out to the Jimmy Neutron episode with the pizza. Oh my god, the pizza episode. <laughs> that Dude, scared I actually, me. I actually wanted to eat that pizza. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I was, I was, a human's real mommy. I was no. more like fixated with the pizza and just wanting to eat it than having paid attention to the episode. Uh, That's I, why I love how I said, uh, instead of saying, saying like, what, what was the proper word? I said asphyxiated, like I was getting fucking choked by the pizza. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Asphyxiation. So, yeah, whatever. You were being choked out by <laughs> Don't pizza? explain it. Um, I, I, I zoned out for like five seconds. Anyway, um. Oh, fixated would have been the perfect word. Okay, never mind. I was really <laughs> asphyxiated by that pizza. What the um, fuck? anyway. Uh, okay. You know, like, you know, like, hundreds of people back. die because of erotic asphyxiation each year. Oh my god. What? <laughs> because of... They want Wait, is this a real statistic? They want... Well, yeah, look up erotic asphyxiation. I've heard, I know, I've heard. Called death. Yeah, and I prefer really, not to. People die a lot because they want to get choked. That's not good. During the sex. Oh, that's so weird. Okay, anyway, back to my, back to my Did list. Did Steven just leave? Steve back to my here, list. <laughs> For, he's coming back. Back to okay. my list. Right, back to Joseph's uh, list. We gotta go back. Geist on Geist. GameCube. What? Ooh, that's an underrated game. That's an underrated gem. Uh, Wait, what is it? Geist? Geist. 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 Nobody ever talks about it. Like Poltergeist. Oh, like Poltergeist. But Geist. Psychonauts it was like, is a spooky game. Psychonauts scary, was amazing. But it's so fucking comfy. Wait, wait, wait. I like the, I like in Psychonauts when you're the giant version of yourself, or that one time you go to like that weird village, like you go into like the, the town, the normal town, and there's like a milkman or whatever. Oh, the milkman. The yeah, milkman. I fucking love that level. The milkman. <laughs> the milkman. What do you know about the milkman? Is he anything? I want to like... grow up to be the milkman. <laughs> what do you know about the milkman? <laughs> Don't fuck with the milkman. What Don't happens when you it. fuck with the milkman? You just, just play the up. game. <laughs> just play the game. Oh man. Yeah, just play Psychonauts. It's a great game. Probably my favorite Telltale game, to be honest. Like, what the? Yeah. F- <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't think that's a great Telltale game. That's my favorite. Okay, 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 next wait, to wait, Monkey wait. Island. Next wait, wait, to let Monkey me... Island. That's my favorite Telltale. Wait, wait, wait. wait what the fuck just happened? Good job. Okay, I had okay, I had a legitimate reason for why I got that wrong because Telltale makes adventure games, and you know. Monkey Island. Monkey <laughs> Island. But oh. the thing is, Telltale does not make Psychonauts. Psychonauts. Oh. Um, to be honest, I'm actually struggling to remember who made Psychonauts. <laughs> Meet Double Fine. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? How did I forget that? Okay, I blame the fact that I'm just really tired right now. It's the NyQuil talking. My, my friend actually met, what's his name? The guy from... The guy Little from... Thing. Yeah. Like, I don't know how the fuck she met him, but he did. Anyway, um, Doom Three, <laughs> Doom, Doom Three. <laughs> I love Doom Three. I love the Doom. Game. I love the soundtrack yes. for Doom. Are you ready for the Doom? Doom is so good. Out? I can't Trent wait. Reznor is my that. is a hero. Yes, and the Quake soundtracks. I love Quake as well. But uh, Doom and Quake, A plus. Uh, <clears throat> a plus. A plus all the way. Says the in general. Half Life also good. Half Life Two. We don't go to Ravenholm. That was spooky. Okay. Oh my god. We don't go to Ravenholm. We don't yeah. go to Ravenholm. That's a good. Don't go to Ravenholm. Another uh, weird thing is like be, when I first when I played when I first played Portal and I didn't know what was going on because the game, the game just came out and no one knew anything about it, but they just knew it was a new Valve game. Like I was like actually kind of spooked by it because I was just like, "What is this game?" Because there was nothing like anything Valve has ever put out, and I was like. I was oh, kind yeah, of all the little, like Easter egg stuff you can find. Yeah, like when I first saw the cake to lie, I'm like, like, mommy, what's going on right now? Mommy, I want to play the game. Because everything's like so like clean and clinical, and and like I Glados know. is like kind of weirdly trying to want like making these weird snarky remarks, and you're just kind of like, why is she doing that? Like, what's going okay. on? Okay, Bioshock is an A plus game. Bioshock is an A plus game. A plus Infinite plus, is actually. overrated, though, to be honest. Infinite might be overrated. Bioshock 2 <laughs> might be underrated. 
Bioshock 2 was hilarious. <laughs> what? The multiplayer, though. The multiplayer was hilarious. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take a picture of you now. There's like a football player character. <laughs> what the fuck? I remember I actually bought the DLC for Bioshock 2, and I, I never fucking... I heard Minerva's fucking... Den was really good. I, I never even played it. I heard it was good, though. The multiplayer maps. But yeah, to be to be clear, I really only like Bioshock One. <clears throat> Infinite is has its moments. I remember when I first saw in Game Informer, like in two thousand four, when they were talking about Bioshock, and they totally yeah. changed it by the time it I, came out. I remember like in whenever the fuck they first showed off Bioshock Infinite at like E three two thousand like I don't even know like ten. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was a really long time ago. I was in middle school. And I was just like, oh my god, I can't wait till Bioshock Game Infinite comes out. And then, like, it took till, like, I got to high school until <laughs> it actually came out. All the delays. Yeah. Delays for life. And then it came out, and I'm like, everyone loves it, and I loved it at the time. And I'm like, oh man, I can't wait till the next Irrational Game. And then, and then. Like, right, guys, we're going to close the studio now. We're closing the studio. And then, like, he yeah, didn't, he's like, but don't worry, guys, I'm totally going to make games on my own. And Ken then, Levin, uh, why? Ken Levin. Just realize that nobody actually <laughs> respects for games as an art form, and Please, he's just like, I'm Ken. running away. Bring System Shock Two back. Uh, anyway, um, System Shock Two. Is it Levine or Leven? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's I, Ken I, Levine. Let's say Levine. Pretty I'd say Levine. Levine. Like at, at speaking Roller. of speaking of amazing game developers that people hate for some reason, Cliff Blazinski, the developer of like the <clears> Gears <throat> games. People really hate him. People also we, people hate Rod like... Ferguson, who was like one of the production guys for Gears. People hate him too. Oh, yeah, but I love Cliff, Bliz- 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 Cliff He's awesome. Blazinski. He's awesome. And I also love Phil Fish, guys. I'm not even lying when I say this. I, I actually... can't say the same about Phil Fish. <laughs> I actually love that man. I don't hate him, but I don't have endearing. I don't, the I, man I don't, is I'm like not... the Kanye no. West of the fucking gaming industry. <laughs> <laughs> One blames everyone else. Pretty much. But sometimes he makes good points. Like Fez everyone... was broken for six months. One because of... <laughs> I couldn't update it. <laughs> One out of the million things he says makes sense. And then when they do, you're like, whoa, he's not entire, entirely insane. But anyway. Yeah, that's um, true. That's true. Um, and Indie list. Game the movie, even though it's not a horror film, is pretty amazing. Check it out. Probably the best video game do- documentary. Anyway. That's true. Right. Indie, indie is good. Indie is indie is good. Uh, indie is thin right. blue line. The thin blue line. Is, yeah. Is a plus plus. That was actually kind of spooky. The thin blue line. I got kind of disturbed watching. Um. Just gonna say that. <clears throat> um, the thin blue line. I think you were telling an me amazing about documentary by Errol Morris, who also did Mr. Death. Ah. Uh. uh Vernon, Florida. Uh, uh, he did one about a pet cemetery one, and it was sad. But uh, uh anyway, Arrow Moore is good. But then Blue Line, good film. Um, uh, Sherlock Holmes is a scary movie. The Raven. Uh, the Raven. I'm kidding. Um, no. wait, wait. Um, I I like the Raven. The new one. Oh wait, what? There's a new one. Or is that the crow? That was the raven. Oh, oh, oh wait, yeah, I'm thinking of the crow. My bad. Anyway, um, isn't the crow like a dark superhero film, or is that the raven? Yeah. I'm thinking of. It's or kind of like the a crow. Little... I think I don't remember whichever one had Brandon Lee. Speaking of that, it. Wesley Snipes is supposedly coming back for Blade. <sighs> oh. Wesley Blade Snipes... Trinity. Wesley Snipes has like been dead for like ten years. <laughs> <laughs> he like doesn't exist anymore. Corpse back. <laughs> he drags his corpse back funny. onto the. That's not funny. <laughs> it's actually it's kind of funny. <laughs> Yo, whenever they put dead people as CGI in films, I don't like that at all. Why like, would when... Why would you do that? They did it for Fast and Furious Seven. Furious Seven was good, and they had it. I had hated to it. Do it. They Why? Well, they, they had already the ending recorded. was so good. Yeah, the ending was really good. I hated the ending. What the I fuck? loved the ending, even though the music video for was, Oh my Gang god, Wiz Khalifa did it better. <laughs> they I they paid tribute it. to him I with Wiz loved, Khalifa song. I loved that ending, though the music video was better. 
I actually, uh, you guys are gonna think I'm a cruel person, but I laughed at the ending of that. Oh movie. my goodness! What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> That was one of the few movies I've gone to where other people besides me have clapped, and I was like, okay. That's so lame. But nobody claps for... No, we, no that one guy in the front row was clapping with us for Oh, with Mad, Mad Max. Max. Oh, I yeah. remember And then that. he stopped. He stopped when we started clapping. Like, oh. We started clapping, and he's like, wait, what the fuck? I don't want to clap anymore. These kids like... Too much. <laughs> this is a kid's movie. Um, this is a kid's movie. <laughs> Yo, behind us. Man, Yo, fuck this movie this was movie. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> the girl behind me in one of my classes being like, "I'm back, man." There's no narrative in this film. There's no narrative. Me being to this like, film. okay, I'll, I've given me up just... even defending this film. Just, I can't do it anymore. Um, and still, why does the film have to be good to have a narrative? Like, why does it have true. to have a narrative to be good? Why Andy Warhol's um, the... filmography. Sleep by Andy Warhol. That movie's intense. I mean, I did... oh my god. Oh, that reminds me. In, in Exit Through Gift, the Gift Shop. Have you seen that film? Directed no. by Banksy. Great documentary. Check it out. But um, there's a it. There's like a time where like one of the filmmaker made the rough cut of that film, and they were talking yeah. about it. And it's literally just two hours of just parrot like weird seizure. Like written footage that that's would just weird. make you go insane, and that's because just... he, sh- he was obsessed with filming things, and he literally filmed things for like thirty years straight without even like looking at the footage or even like thinking about it. <laughs> so when the editors got it, he was just like, just put it all in the film, and like, <laughs> all I, I, of it. He's like, he's like, I can't put all of it in the film. He's like, you have to do it. You don't just put understand. all of it. Locks they will sit them in the here for room. the entire day so if they the have clip. to. It's the clips being sped up, and it's like they're all flashing at like a billion seconds, two hundred frames per second. Yeah, <laughs> and the thing is, like they were talking about, like, oh my god, this is the worst film I've ever seen. We had to get somebody to help him out on the film so we could make it good. <laughs> but I'm just, help. I'm think, I'm thinking in my head, I want to see the rough cut of this movie. Like that sounds amazing. Andy Warhol's, um, I forget, uh, was it the Florence Girls or like Tiffany Girls or I don't remember what the film was called, but in one of them, like there's this fight that happens on screen between these two characters, these actors, and then they like break it, they bring it off screen and the Andy Warhol, he just keeps the film running and, he just, and so like you just hear them like battling it out <laughs> off camera and then they go back into the frame like all normal. It's just, it's Dude, Andy Warhol did not give a fuck. <laughs> Andy Warhol was so amazing. <laughs> he just didn't care. I love Andy Warhol. The man literally put a fucking Campbell's, like, chicken noodle soup thing. <laughs> on That the... was art. That was and art. Then... No, and he was, like, mass producing it, man. Yes, mass production. But yeah, t- check out, oh yeah, that was the another, the, the sole reason you should check out Exit Through the Gift Shop is there, there's the whole controversy about whether or not the film is actually a real documentary. Like, there, it might actually be a mockumentary. That's interesting. Ooh. So, like, nobody knows, because the thing is, nobody knows Banksy's is, is identity. People said the Thin Blue Line should have won the best Oscar documentary, but... Okay. Okay. I don't know what's going, what's going on right now, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I don't say That's the grave while, mind. So I just, anyway, uh, um... Yeah, well, I'm, um... Are you ready to re- wait? I'll be, I'll be right back. Oh yeah, back to Jess. My, li- my list. Um. <clears throat> um. My list. Uh, let me think. Um. Can you not? Can, can you not? <laughs> not I don't do know. That. I'm waiting for you, so I'm. I'm, I'm thinking just... about my list. Do you want me to? You go can't on? handle the list. Resident Evil One and Two, fantastic. Resident Evil Three is good. Resident Evil Four is pretty darn good too. Resident Evil Five, pretty good. Resident Evil Six, pretty good. Wait, the game. Silent Hill One. Fantastic. 
Silent Hill 2, fantastic. Silent Hill 3, fantastic. Silent Hill 4, great soundtrack. All the Silent Hills, great soundtracks. Uh, PT. Silent Hill, Homecoming, pretty good. PT, I wish, was still on the uh, PlayStation Store, and I wish. I wish Silent Hills was happening. It's Please let it happen. Um, <clears throat> it was so good. I'm mad I deleted it when I did. Yeah. Uh, you should have kept that on your console. Uh, I needed space, and I figured out oh, a demo I could download it another time. PT wasn't a demo, though. Uh, PT was like a standalone showcase of this game. It was not a demo, but it, it was something better. It was something greater. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I am. Um, Edgar Allan Poe, great stuff. Uh. Stephen King, great stuff. Love Stephen King. He's good, man. Um, R.L. Stein, since you're naming off. R.L. Stein's pretty good. Uh, um, hmm. How big there's is a, your there's list? a game. There's a game. There was another game I wanted to mention. Uh, Another game. Resident Evil Revelations, good stuff. Um, Revelations, Revelations really is like it. Return to Form. Yeah. And really Operation Raccoon it. City is absolutely beautiful. Um, even with the bullet <clears throat> sponges. Even with the bullet what? sponges, it's a great game. Have you uh, the core is a pretty Operations. scary game. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love that. Um, don't know what's happening. Uh, uh I love the Area 51. Area 51 is a fantastic game, both the arcade game and the PS2 Xbox shooter. Those were fantastic games. Um, the... Oh. Um, uh, let me think. Time Splitters 2 had some spooky moments. Gonna be honest. Time Splitters 2? Gonna be honest. I remember people wanting Time Splitters 3 like a while back. Time Splitters 3 happened already. What? Wait. Time Splitters Future Perfect is three. Oh. People want four. Oh. Okay. Good job. Get with the time. Um, <laughs> Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball. It's a series that needs to come back. Um. I think Sonic uh, math, and Knuckles is also underrated. Math platformer <laughs> for the the, the um, um Xbox <laughs> indie game. <laughs> Ever play that game? No. Star Wars Republic Commando needs a sequel <laughs> right now. Um, there are moments in that game that are horrifying. Republic Commando? I got scared. <laughs> when I was Where a kid. scared by Republic Commando? There well, are some, that, like, that. that's a kind of dark, that was, that's, like, probably the darkest was, Star Wars game, like, out there. That was really? the first. I haven't played it. Nah, Force Unleashed is probably darker, but anyway, um, that was know. the first first-person yeah, shooter Unleashed I've ever played. some pretty dark topics. But like no, these but aren't dark topics. These are just no, because you have to understand areas. As a kid, that was the first first-person shooter I ever played. Really? And my friend was like, "Hey, you want to play Star Wars?" And I'm just thinking, "Oh, yeah, <laughs> you want to play Star Wars? A, I get to be a Jedi. I'm gonna have fun." And then he just starts shooting things, and like they, I'm like, "Oh my god, oh, things, are, things are dying. <laughs> I'm killing things." <laughs> I'm like, I like I'm how not... I like how your visor in that game had windshield wipers. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> like when like blood got on your visor, like they would do this mm -hmm. like vertical like pan across and just They're wipe it off. Me. That was legit. Was like, what the fuck? I need to play this game. That game is great, and it needs a sequel right now. Um, Wait, what is this on? Actually. The Xbox, PS2, uh, no, no, just the Xbox and PC. Oh my god, I wanted it on the PS2 when I didn't have an Xbox, but um. It's on the PC. I should find a <clears throat> copy. Jaws Unleashed, A plus. Oh my god, that game horrified me as a kid too. A plus. Even though you play as the shark, it's horrifying. Oh. No, because it's like, here's what happened. We were playing. I was at a friend's house. We we're playing Jaws Unleashed, and he, I'm just like, dude, you're not doing too well, are you? Lots of people are dying, and I'm and I'm just like getting scared. And he's just like, 
dude, I am the shark. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Why are you killing people? <laughs> Why are you killing Shamu? I'm like, no, what are you doing? <laughs> dude, you're doing pretty bad. You, you just died like 500 like, times. Somatic way. I dude, that literally blew my shark. mind. That was like... That was like a twist part in like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. I was just like watching the whole time. I'm like, oh my god. Like, this see shark just is like how that would be filmed. Like all of a sudden just this paint, this all of a sudden this zoom in on your face. Yeah. Uh, I am the uh, shark. I am Jurassic the shark. Park, Operation Genesis. When a tornado would I, show up in my island, oh I my was god. so terrified. That That's like the end of, that's Look, the end of your game. That's as long as it doesn't go for my Tyrannosaurus makes a beeline directly for the Tyrannosaurus, proceeds like... to suck the Tyrannosaurus up, and then I oddly laughed as it was getting sucked up. <laughs> it, was like a... it was the goofiest looking tornado though, but... <laughs> Men in Black 2, Alien Escape, uh, were... Jurassic, I, I meant Hot Wheels, where did Hot Wheels and Jurassic Park come together? Hot Wheels Velocity X, that was a dark game. It was a dark game? <laughs> dark. It was the most darkiest game I've ever played. That was a legit life. game. It was rated T. Actually, it's rated E. I take that back. <laughs> um, um, Medal of Honor: Rising Sun is a good game. Oh my god! I yeah, remember what was what was the game where you killed Chewbacca? What? <laughs> oh wait, that was in Force Unleashed, wasn't it? NFL Game Day 2005. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, Madden 2011, <laughs> absolutely <laughs> horrifying. Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? Gotta is say, to your I have Star Wars Rebel Assault 2, the dual pack on my PS2, my PS1. That is a hard game to die. Backyard asteroid. Baseball 2004 <laughs> featuring Cal <laughs> featuring Kanye West, <laughs> featuring Cal Ripken Jr. <laughs> As a kid, as a child. I wonder if child molesters love that game. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> oh my god, why would you um, say that? Why would you say that? Alien Syndrome was a terrifying game. Uh, How is your list <clears throat> going on? <laughs> Yo, Gran Turismo 4. For the Connect. How is Gran Turismo scary? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Gran Turismo <laughs> is not scary. That's a comfy game. Uh, and his virtual boy game. game. No, any Virtual Boy game, like, kids lost their eyes. Oh, God. Atari Lynx. Atari Lynx. Atari. It's horrifying. The horror of, it, of the Virtual Boy. Blood like, Rain. Like, that dude. thing destroyed your eyes. Atari it shot Atari. lasers into your retinas. Until it worked. It had one vertical pixel, which is a bunch of lasers. The horror of Gung... Gung... Gay, what the Melissa fuck? isn't done. Gung... Gung... K... Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm just... I'm trying to say a Japanese name. I just hear you in the background. Melissa isn't done. Melissa isn't done. <laughs> Blood Rain on the PS2. Oh my god, I love that game. Legit. The vampire yes. Game. Oh god. That game is amazing. That game's legit. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas was spooky too. Oh yeah. I felt like Vice City was a bit more spooky. I didn't get any spook vibes from Vice. Actually, League. I'm kidding. That, that game was comfy. What am I saying? That game was like Michael Jackson music <laughs> and Prince. I can I can see as like a suburban white guy like San Andreas probably did spook me. Sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Texas Chainsaw. I was watching a behind the scenes documentary of like behind the scenes of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and they were like, "This is like... a really spooky game." I mean, movie. I feel like. Because... <laughs> You could actually see this happening in Texas. I feel like me saying that is actually a moment we need to edit out. Like, that was yeah, bad. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep it. Keep it. As we find out, uh, oh, is no, racist. No, no, no. In I the future. The in the future. What if I become, like, famous? And then, like, all of a sudden, like, this some person digs up the archives. And is like, what is this? <laughs> he said this. That's not gonna happen. Out of context, totally. <laughs> Just out of context. I'm a suburban white guy. <laughs> Um, anyway, <laughs> Star Wars Jedi Power oh, but Battles. Bigfoot, Bigfoot, trying to find Bigfoot. Oh, Ghost cars? No, in San Andreas. Yeah, San Andreas, a uh, Bigfoot thing. Oh, no, uh, Undead Nightmare. I love that game. Oh, that was, yeah, that's for, comfy. Uh, that's comfy. Red Dead Redemption. 
Yeah, that game is comfy. Anything in Red Dead Redemption is comfy, honestly. I love Red Dead Redemption. I remember the amount of times I killed Joseph with the sniper rifle and he couldn't get to me. Damn. You, you just hear that? You just hear in the background. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> not even like of not even proclaiming it, but just like. Damn. Damn. Hot Wheels stunt track challenge is pretty legit. Um. Can I do violence? Yo, or are Shamu's gonna... deep sea adventure. Can I get the violence? <laughs> Best <laughs> <ever>. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear me spitting out my food? Yeah. <laughs> As it goes all over your mic. Shamu's Deep Sea Adventures was one of my first PS2 games. Okay. I'm, I'm the gonna... ultimate underwater adventure. Battle the evil Kraken and Poseidon. Thrash and <laughs> no, smash. You know, was a really hard, you know what was a really horrifying moment? It was Halloween. Uh, Right. I was watching. I was watching Nightmare before for um before Halloween or whatever the fuck that. Is. <laughs> Nightmare, Nightmare before Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Nightmare before Halloween. Is my favorite movie. Well, well we're, watching, Guys. we're watching this movie. And I'm eating a lot of pizza rolls, dude. Like I <laughs> ate like twenty. I ate a lot. And of my pizza friend rolls. all of a sudden looks at me, and I'm just like, dude, let's go sprinting. And then he's like, what? What, what the fuck? And I'm like, let's go sprinting. So then I carry him outside. And we started sprinting around the neighborhood. And then I started puking all over the place. <laughs> what the fuck? And you can see, like, the macaroni and cheese in, this, in pizza rolls. Was no. And I was dying. <laughs> what? And, the, and, and all I remember was just puking and hearing, This is Halloween. <laughs> that brings me to Marilyn Manson. Um... His album, The Pale Emperor, is really good. Oh, wait, I had a whole list from albums. Okay, but okay we'll get to okay. Yeah, we'll get to the real quick. Star Wars Battlefront's a pretty good game. Um, <laughs> can I do my so list? Weird. Am I allowed? Destroy humans. No, I'm not done. I thought you said you were done. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> Star Wars Bounty Hunter has some spook moments. This is me being serious. Star Wars Bo Bounty Hunter has some spook moments. I remember so. that. <laughs> I remember Bounty also, was pretty fun. Theme park roller coaster on the PS2. When somebody would plant a stink bomb in your theme park. Roller coaster tycoon. When like when you first play it, <laughs> when your when ride you realize... breaks and people are on it and you can't get them <laughs> yeah. off. And it just you, goes. Never, you never knew that like, that no. could happen. You, and you're just like, oh. <laughs> just gas. It's going. We can't stop it. You know, I miss the bones wild ride. And then when they die, you're just like, wait, wait, are they gonna know? Like, or is this is the park gonna get shut down? There's <laughs> like a mass explosion. <laughs> CNN reports happening game. now. Millions die. Park open. Oh. <laughs> All right, Dementium the board on the DS. God damn it! <laughs> this is moving into my handheld section. Cooking of the list. mama. <laughs> Um, Rhythm Heaven, uh, Brain Age. If I knew you were so <laughs> long, I would have gone first. Uh, I have ten things. Done with the list. Odds, odds World, Odds World. You know what I mean? <laughs> Strangers, Odyssey. Yeah, that game's great. You can play on your iPhone now. You know, there, was a, there was a Wii U version of that game that was going to come out and it never came out. Counter-Strike Source, Zombies. It's terrifying. Um... um Reggie Fizeme's face. Bruh. Um. <laughs> no, I just dis discovered something on my phone, and I'm like amazed right now. Marilyn Manson's the, the Pale Emperor <clears throat> is a good album. Uh. And Lady Gaga really needs to do a Halloween album, and that's all I have to say. Kiari Pamu Pamu made a Halloween song, and it was good. Passion Pit's <laughs> doing a Halloween show. What anyway, oh, wait, no, wait. I thought you were uh, gonna say a Halloween album. I'm like why? that would be amazing. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> uh, that's the end of my list. You're you're done. Oh wait, sorry. No, no, over. you're done. Sorry, you're done. I didn't flip it over. Tim, Tim, Tim Allen's acting career. <laughs> a I like thought. I like rocks. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna go. No, I'm not done yet. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you shitting Joseph, me? Stop. Joseph, stop. Joseph, textbooks. <clears throat> I gotta open my book. The smell of old cardboard. 
There's this roller coaster. There's this roller coaster. There's this roller coaster. There's this roller coaster. <laughs> that looks said, really this roller coaster like cool. three times. It looks really cool. <laughs> and it's in Ohio. Okay. You know what's really scary? That's nice. That's the end of my um list. Alright, I'm gonna go. Dude, you know what? No no no, but wait, wait, wait. I feel like what's really scary is when you find old footage of yourself, but it's like found footage of yourself. Like I found this old I, like this the, really old Levitar camera I used to use when I was like in elementary you mean school. Vivitar. Levitar. Sounds it's like some levitating, happening. amazing technology that we do not have. An old, like, crappy Vivitar camera. That, and I used to I used to film everything as a kid. That's just what I did. And there were just so many weird clips of just, like, open grass fields at night. <laughs> Sinister. <laughs> it's, it's scary! And I'm like, what was I filming this for? And I don't remember filming it. You should make a horror <laughs> movie out of all the footage that you made. I wish I have like a whole archive of just random found footage. I also have an archive of like random let's plays I did when I was like a kid that I never uploaded to YouTube. <laughs> like, I, had a, I had a capture card. I recorded them. I never like put them on YouTube. So what you're saying oh, was it was a diary? I was what? It was a diary, is what you're saying. A diary of of, of, of a Long middle of a capsule. Yeah, pretty much. All right. A well, diary of a Platinum life. Games made the Legend of Korra game. Oh my yeah, god, and it was why? Shit. How did they do that? Like, how did they mess up already, like, a, 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 how? I don't know. It's hard to believe them fucking up so badly, Alan, but they did. Alan Tutorial, my favorite YouTube channel. It's pretty spooky. You, ever, you guys ever watch Alan Tutorial? No. Look up Alan Tutorial. If you guys <laughs> quiet, think, no. Don't, if you guys think, <laughs> you guys no. think don't <laughs> hug me, I'm scared, is scary. If you guys watch Alan Tutorial and it's full continuity, <laughs> There's a weird 2D animation game where, like, yeah. it's this Japanese game, and there's this guy with a giant purple head that chases you, rip in peace, you'll never and it's kind of scary. Rip in peace list, you'll never be told. The PS Go Okay, go. Go, Tyler, go. I can finally yeah, go? Yeah, you just have to do what I'm doing and just yell things out loud. Just well, go. See, the thing you is... can do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> the go. problem with that is that you do yell over me, Wolfgang, and I'm polite, and you're a fucking asshole. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. All right, so I did a list, and I did a top ten list. So these are in order wow. from beauty. Wow. is nothing. This is a top one like I did. <laughs> so I think that will begin this section. <laughs> so the and these are like from least scary to scary. Uh, I have to say Halo One. Oh, it's on that list too. Yeah. Oh, snap! The, the flood oh. is a scary one. <laughs> uh, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't even bother. Halo <laughs> 1! Sonic 3. I love Halo 1. Halo 1's the greatest. Okay. okay. It goes Pop high. Tropica? <laughs> Tropica 3. It's pretty, yeah, it's a pretty scary game. Anyway, what's number 9? Club Penguin. What's your reasoning for Halo? My reasoning for Halo? I told you it was the flood. We already. Oh, okay. We already okay. Covered that Number nine. It's Club Penguin. Dawn. Oh, that game had some decent. Specs what? What game? Club Until Penguin? dawn. Until dawn. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember that game. It just Until like dawn. It. <laughs> I That's just tried to search it, it and I looked up Intel Dawn. Intel Dawn, new Dawn of the new. Wait, is that the game that's like horror? Yeah, it's like the whole butterfly effect. Wait, the Dude, movie? stop spoiling movies. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm about to spoil. Oh my god! I'm about the to first, legit the drop first a spoil. thing you look, the first thing you look up when you look up Until Dawn is literally the killer, and then it just tells you who the killer is. <laughs> Don't spoil. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like somebody from like, Hit, uh, Hitman. Um, the question Pay is, who is Payday. behind the mask? I know, but he looks like a character from Payday. Oh my God, it's in the Payday universe. <laughs> anyway, number eight. Fear two. That was a good game. Is Fear one on this list? Yes, but it's farther down. <laughs> okay, fear two good, wasn't as good. Uh... Good. I thought Fear three was pretty great. I I'm haven't kidding. played Fear 3. Fear 3 is like three hours long. Um, it's not terrible, but... <clears throat> Fear Online. 
I wish that was still around. Anyway. Oh my uh, god, the Matrix online. I never heard of that. You never heard of the Matrix no. online? Dude, look it up. It's an amazing game. <clears throat> anyway, so we're on number seven. seven. Fatal Frame, the first one. Okay. Why? I had some spooks. Yo, I didn't know you guys actually <laughs> played Fatal Frame. I've played the first one, and then I think Joseph brought over the second one. But have you finished the first one? No, yeah, I haven't. All... I, I let a friend borrow it for because uh, he said he wanted to just check it out. And I'm like, well, here, just bring it back to me tomorrow. And then he moved the next day. No. <laughs> and he forgot to tell me that he was moving. So... That's like when somebody asks, can I borrow a sheet of paper? Are you giving it back? I don't know, man. Well, okay, I'm quiet. Not. Quiet, anyway. <laughs> the Matrix um, Online. I was expecting him to bring it back, but that never happened. So. Okay, number six? Number six was Resident Evil trying to... Trying to fight that snake as a six-year-old was pretty darn terrifying. Resident Evil 4 scared the fuck out of me. Those chainsaw really? people in, Those chainsaw in Resident people Evil 4. Those me the fuck off. I when saw they showed it, up, I just like, stopped. Go. That I... lake scene in Resident Evil 4 is hilarious. A+. I forgot. What is the lake scene again? It's been a while. You're in that tiny little rowboat. <laughs> yep. And it doesn't go for the boat. That's for you, man. That's for you. That's for you man. It's like fuck the middle Let's man. Let's talk about Leon like, Kennedy's hair. Oh, and how Dude, it. I, I strive for that I hair. I strived as a kid for that hair. Really? <laughs> that is impossible. I feel, like I, can, I feel like I can pull off Leon Kennedy's hair. You might be able to. He was a redhead in, in RE2. He was. And then he was like, "I'm gonna blonde." Yeah. What happened? Let's talk about Ashley. Oh my God. Why Ashley? All her story arcs. The hardest motherfucking story arcs I've ever played. Resident Evil 4, when you meet those things that are like in the fridge and the cookies, uh, and um, you had to like shoot them with like a thermal scope, that spooked me. Uh, yeah, okay. Alright, so can I go to number five? Number five. Yeah, do it. Five Number is the first five. I feel like this is like that MLG countdown that used to exist like in, in 2007, like top 10 like Halo snipes of the week. Number or like five! Back, or Number like back five. when G4, yes. G4 used to like do like countdowns. X-Play. I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love Does X-Play, X-Play still exist? No, G4 doesn't no. exist. Uh, G4 died a long time ago. See, I don't watch TV. Their website's though. still up in permanent stasis. It's kind of hysterical. I know, that's it's odd. scary. It's that's like kind of, the Space spooky. Jam website. They have <laughs> old videos from E3 2011. <laughs> I need to go to this website. Anyway, uh, number five. It's scary, number too, because it was fear. About, like, oh, these games fear. Are... Uh, why? It had even more spooks than the first, than the second game. I just remember playing that with, like, me and uh, Sam. Yeah, that was at good. Your house, and the amount of times that little girl appeared scared the shit out of us. I almost fell out of my chair one time when I was playing that game because uh, I want the first. I was walking around and she crawled out of a a, a cubicle, and now I can't go near cubicles anymore. I'm kidding. Um, (laughs) not making fun of phobias. Uh, Fear One, but I like Fear Two as well. There's this amazing map pack in Fear Two where you could like play on it. You could play as like tiny soldiers on like sandcastle maps. I love sandcastle maps. I love maps like that where you're like in a house and you're like a tiny person. Like there's CSGO map. Not CSGO, but CS Source maps like that. Like oh, Lego yeah, maps. For, GS mod, for uh, Gmod? Oh. Or CS Source. But, um. <clears throat> or Gmod. Mm-hmm. But. Oh, I'm lo- okay. I'm looking. I'm looking at. new. I'm on the G4 website and I'm looking at the new releases section. And they they list Tony Hawk American Wasteland. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That movie. That's oh, a, the, game. The game. Oh, a game. The, 20, uh, the 2012 kidding, game. I'm kidding. Oh, Wait, the 2012 dude. like remake. Like when it came out on XBLA. I thought um, that the Tony Hawk. I mean, do you remember? Like, there was this one year Activision used to have like terrible press conferences at. Yeah, E3. <clears throat> and they had the one year, like, this really annoying host, and Tony Hawk totally destroyed him. 
I forget what it was though. But oh my god, and, and Ubisoft had that amazing <laughs> guy. Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm, no, I don't remember. Wolfgang. Wolfgang, do you remember what he's talking about? Okay. Um. Uh, there goes Wolfgang. <clears throat> okay. Lost him. Okay. The Nightquill took him over. The G4 TV got him. <laughs> uh. Anyway, number four. Silent Hill, the first one. What? I wasn't aware you played that game, but okay. I, I told you I game? played a couple of the Silent Hills. Okay, I didn't know you played that. <laughs> I played the first the one's first. a good one. Did you finish it? No. Oh my, oh my god. god. I lost that in the move to uh, uh, Florida. The UFO ending is absolutely beautiful. I lost a lot of games for my PS2. Like I, I was a little shit. With the Silent Hill 2 dog ending You've is legendary. That. That's so fucking. Funny. I love that ending so much. Uh. Anyway. Um. Number four. Or is that three? It's Where three. Are we at? Okay, three. The house. That's a fun game. The house two is even more intense. I'm not playing the second one. I barely House want to play I think the they, first they might one. have a third one. They might have a third one. I, but no, I'm too spooked. I'm Oculus too Rift spooked. support would be great. Uh, oh number two. House, number two. Honestly, I don't feel this is as scary, as, as scary as I make it be, but it does always get me. So, uh, oh Five God. Nights at Freddy's. It just the always gets me. The, the, you actually the, thought... Five Nights at Freddy's is the most... Great. Five Nights at Freddy's is the most overrated series of all time, but that's just me. Of all time, of all time, kind of, overrated. of all fran of all. I don't think of it's all, of all media. time because there's been a couple of, of all media. Of all media, Five Nights at Freddy's is the most over. I'm kidding. It's not the most overrated, but I do think Five Nights at Freddy's. Is, I, I think it's people a bit will, like, I don't. I don't know. Like it, it is one guy who works on it, so I'll give him that. And I'd say it's like the most hyped over individuals who are like 12 years old. Exactly. Yeah. And the thing is, twelve years old, twelve year olds are like really loud. So like. Yeah, I played Modern Warfare too. I know. Because it so it seems Could like it... they they're like they, like everyone's saying that it's like the best game ever, but it's really just like five twelve year olds in the corner. Type in caps. Pretty much. <clears throat> but okay, but, yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay. I mean, just because it gets me. I mean, like every time I it gets play. It's under your skin, mate. Pretty much. I wonder when the movie's gonna come out. Never. No, I'm sure there's a movie down there somewhere. I think it'd make a good movie. Okay, number two. That was number two. I'm sorry, number one. Number I need one. to work at ESPN at Sports Center. Yeah, you do. <laughs> number two. Oh, I mean number one. <laughs> number one. PT. Number one. PT. PT. Uh, I, I wish I would have played. Would have had the chance to play that game, PT but was I didn't. Good. PT was really good. Let's have a moment of silence for Let's Kojima please. and Guillermo del Toro uh, uh, and. Uh, uh. Yo, how long are we even? How long are we? I still haven't done in? my second list. I still haven't done, I haven't done my second list. Well, that, well, that's my entire list, but uh, we're an hour twenty but I, I, minutes. I'd like to ask why nobody brought up Condemned. Oh my god, I forgot yeah. about Condemned. I should have put that on there. The and the gosh bear. darn bear. <laughs> the Condemned too. Oh my god, the Condemned bear. The bear. The super bear. <clears throat> Close the door. He can't get through the door. Oh shit, he Rams through the door. door. <laughs> he can't get upstairs. Oh The shit, roach of Crondor. Oh my god, that bear. The Roach of Crondor. Oh Krondor. my god, I remember that too. <laughs> okay, Tyler. I mean, uh, Wolfgang. Yeah, totally similar names. Wolfgang, similar. Uh, two, oh, number you. two. I can't talk anymore. Uh, number two, list. Huh? Alright, Wolfgang. Let's get your second list. Um, Why did we list. have two lips? <laughs> lips? We, we, Joseph, oh, you, why had do we have two lips? 40, you had a list of 40. Why do we have two lips? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. So, uh, that was I just made up looking at my games. Let's <laughs> be honest. I figured it was in the books that were lying around on my shelf. Okay. But so uh, I was serious about some of it, but I'm sorry. Anyway, go go on about your list. So Arca has a mixtape that came out this year 
called Sheep, and it's good. It's spooky. It kind of feel reminds me of like the soundtrack to like Blade Runner. Um, um. Then he he has like an album called Zen, which is solid. It's kind of spooky. Um, then there's an album called Spirit They're Gone, Spirit They Vanished by Animal Collective, and it's really fucking abrasive and crazy. I'm gonna play a segment. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Did I just hear in the background? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just went up. Oh. We're about to infringe on copyright. But Don't worry, is, it's, it can't. The thing well, is, it's, Tyler it's so awake. noise. Does he know? It's, what? I, 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 quickly I do it! Out. I would do it before he knows! <laughs> before what? Big Brother knows! Wait, 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 wait. I'm full. I'm playing. Wait, wait, wait. This one. This DJ. One. <laughs> what, 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 what? What? What's wait, wait. going on? Nothing's going on, don't worry. <laughs> Does the whole <laughs> Stevie barely... movie be part of this episode, barely... too? Are we in a club now? The pole. Oh, we in a club? This sounds a lot like Did you hear Marilyn it? Manson's early work. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> but, um, but, um, that's uh, um, it. <laughs> 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 yeah, some Apex coming like, to daddy. That was like the scene from Forrest Gump when he goes up to the mic and then somebody, like, unplugs his mic and then they plug it back in and he's like... And that was about my experiences in the wall. <laughs> Wait, did you guys even hear it? No, Tyler was blasting his blasting thing. The Paul Stephen came out again. Mm. Really? No, but like, it's literally not even comprehensible sound. <laughs> but it's copyrighted. What is comprehensible sound? Tonight on Unsolved Mysteries. I don't know. Me. Okay. <laughs> uh, dro- uh. <laughs> Why are we crying? Oh. <laughs> Untrue by Burial has a lot of nocturnal sounds. It's cool. Crystal Castle 2 by Crystal from Halloween Vibes. Okay. How have you not mentioned Andrew Gold? Government plates. They're all really abrasive and intense. Okay. I, I, Andrew Gold's. Andrew Gold. (laughs) If you listen at 12 p.m. a.m. tonight, you might turn into a skeleton yourself. Spooky, scary skeleton. A replica, because it had. Replica by one o tricks point never because it has a spooky skeleton on the com. The sheer and to be kind by Swans because it has primordial feeling to it and it's really spooky. Uh, Virgins by Tim Hecker, really good ambient album. It's really spooky. And um, this album literally no no one ever listened to this album. It's probably the fucking scariest album I've ever listened to in my life. It is literally just fucking recordings of interviews with pedophiles. It is scary. Don't ever listen to it. Don't ever listen to it. Don't ever listen to it. Scary stuff, man. Buyer's Market Buyer's Market by Peter Soto. Never look it up. It is the scariest album I've ever listened to. Have you ever listened to Wolves in the Throne Room? Yeah. Oh my god. Nice. I'm proud of you. Thanks. I'll try. That's a good po- Oh yeah, speaking of metal, I was not going to mention any metal albums because I felt like no one would care. Um, I like metal. Check out check out that Burzum, that good old satanic black metal. Oh, uh, check out some <laughs> Death Heaven. Uh, and just hear you <laughs> laugh and just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything about it. I'm just... I laugh at just me random. saying me saying that good old satanic flag metal. <laughs> yes, that was, like, that like, was, I, I, when you said metal, I was uh, thinking like normal metal, but like if you're like what is satanic normal metal? metal, I'm like, well fuck, and that's completely different. What is normal metal tonight on Unsolved Mysteries? <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, I have to go. So wait, I have to go. <laughs> 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 oh, 
What was that? <laughs> that was like Sonic having a seizure. Like... <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was there something you wanted to say, obviously. Or is he gone? Alright. <laughs> um. I want to hear more uh, of Steven's list. Uh, my, my list? Steven doesn't have my, a list. Yeah, if you had no, to pick no. a vegetable that was the scariest vegetable, what would you pick? Uh, scariest vegetable, um... Carrots. Carrots aren't that scary. Although, I did actually write a horror story in middle school about a bunny that shot you with carrots. What the That fuck? reminds me of this amazing Disney Channel film. I think you film. read me that story, Steven, now that I think about it. <laughs> Joe Steven? That reminds me, um... <clears throat> There was this amazing Disney Channel movie that was about an ice cream truck driver or had a scene with an ice cream truck driver who had an, a giant ice cream cone on the top of his ice cream truck. Welcome and... to the Good Burger, home of the Good Burger, can't I take your arm? What Why? the fuck? Why? I'm uh... afraid. <laughs> Why? Please. Don't take NyQuil. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm kidding. Please I'm going to take what you want, again. but be careful. Uh, Wait, what did oh, I do? Don't do anything. What did I do? Don't do anything bad. What did I do? Read directions and use things. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, use things carefully and use. Anyway, I'm making an anti drug <laughs> speech. Anyway. Inside um, drugs? Anti drugs. Anyway. <laughs> um, drugs are bad. Um, anyway. Um,. What was I talking about before Good Burger happened? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I had a legit... Vegetable? I was talking about that Disney Channel movie where it opens with this newspaper boy being chased by an angry ice cream man who has a giant ice cream cone on the top of his ice cream truck and it fires ice cream at the kid. <laughs> it's, it's pretty amazing. Oh, wait, you I remember probably that. probably watch it. What, that was uh that was in a Disney movie, right? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, I, I spaced out again. <laughs> yeah, I said that like twice, but okay. I'm sorry. I'm it's okay. Sorry. It's okay. It's all right, man. Space now, space cadet. It's okay, dude. Core zombie, man. It's okay. Yes, yes. Let the ship flow through you. Just let the ship happen. Let's talk about Bob Ross, and. 403 episodes streaming on Twitch. Alright. I'm jealous of his painting skills. Who's? Bob Ross. Oh yeah, he's a pretty good painter. I mean, I'm not a big He was. Fan. He was? What do you mean? Is he's it... dead. Oh. That I didn't feel one. Rip. Well, he was a pretty good painter. His PBS shows are, like, beautiful. I love watching his PBS <clears throat> show. I've never watched any of his shows. But I've seen some of his work. And what I've seen, I've liked. Ooh. But yes. Okay. So, what's spooky coming out? Were there, like, any, like, really good horror movies that came out this year? Good Night, Mommy. Good Night, Mommy? I didn't, I didn't hear that one. Mm, probably didn't play as Carmike because it's not a major film. It's a smaller production. Oh. But, uh... because... Well, I mean, what am I talking about? You don't even live in no, Melbourne anymore, so... And I don't know if you have an art theater or not, but... Uh, uh, we have a Regal. Near that me. is not an art theater. Uh, we have Regals too, but yeah. We have a Hippodrome, <clears throat> which is just a state historic theater, but uh, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, we just uh, have good a night, Regal. Mommy. Because, uh, like, I haven't heard of many like horror films that came out this year. Like, usually, Crimson Peak there's a lot. looks nice, but it's not necessarily as scary. Um, I mean, the state of contemporary horror is something to be debated about, especially 
with Scream 4, which is a debate on contemporary horror. Not a debate. Well, yeah, in some ways a debate. But... I mean, the, the only movie I think, I can think of, that came out this year, uh, that tried to fall under horror was uh, The Visit, but that that's it. I can't think of any other Okay. Horror yeah. movies that came out this year is like there weren't any. Which Good I night, mean, mommy. Well, yeah, I know, like. I know there were some movies because I mean it's always around. Good Halloween. night, mommy. The final girls. Uh, if was not is more of a comedy horror. Uh. Uh, very similar to Scream. Uh. What else? Crimson Peak, Victor Frankenstein, but Victor Frankenstein is more action. Uh, it's not out yet either. Um, uh, I'd say Goodnight Mommy being the seminal horror film so far this year, but it's a spooky film. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> Goosebumps. Oh yeah, there was Goosebumps. Not a bad movie. That's a movie I did kind of want to check out, but no one over here wants to see movies Jack Black. with me. Hashtag go by yourself. I don't want to see a movie <laughs> by myself. That's like Ultimate Loner. Not really. I don't want to, though. I, I... Poor baby. Plus, I really don't have any money. So, but, uh... Okay. I don't know. So... You said you did a couple things for Halloween. What, what did you do? Because I did absolutely nothing. But... Handed out candy. I got a bunch of uh, books. Not I didn't get them. I checked them from the library. But also films. Um, and I've been doing Halloween events in games. Like I downloaded Combat Arms again today just to get. Shit! I forgot about Animal Crossing today. Yes. Don't forget Animal Crossing. Uh... Still got a couple hours. <clears throat> what? Uh, a couple hours? We're talking about Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to be here for 20, 24 hours. Welcome straight. to the 24 hour live podcast, guys. We're just entering hour two. I really like. Oh, yeah, but I'm really. I'm, I, I left when you were talking about Wolves in the Throne, Throne Room. I'm really happy that you liked Wolves in the Throne Room. Or that so, you know of Wolves in the Throne Room. They did. Have you ever seen Anthony Fandino? Yeah. Okay. Any, I watch internet's... Needle Drop all the time, dude. The internet's busiest music nerd. Yeah, uh, dude, I love the Needle Drop. Did you hear about how he was mistaken for the shooter at a, at a recent shooting? Oh my god, yeah. I saw his horrible. response to that, and I was like, how did they mess this up? But... No, doing it on purpose, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was like some really hates shit. Anthony Frentano. But uh, he actually did a lecture once, and I saw it, and I was like, what? But um, yeah, that's how I learned about Wolves from the... Uh, Wolves in the Throne Room, I, but it was one album that I liked a lot. I didn't. I don't like the majority of their stuff. I don't listen to it. But there was one album, and it was like more ambient. Mm -hmm. I forget what it was called though. But but yeah, if like... you like Wolves in the Throne Room, check out like I have like a shit ton of like black metal that you'd love because that's what Wolves in the Throne Room is. Yeah, it's black metal. Mm -hmm. oh. So yeah, I, I'll I'll mention that in like another episode though. Yeah, I I, uh, I haven't heard of any of these artists. It's okay, bro. Yeah. Anyway, I have to leave again, I to, no and I'll be right back. Really listens to. Like, like, like uh, Rise Against, Red. Apparently, nobody like I I've talked to so many people. Like, people have at least heard of Rise Against and like a couple of the other bands I talked to, but no one's heard of Red. Okay. Like, they keep thinking about uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. But no, there's a band literally called Just Red. Okay. And no one knows about them. Which is sad, because they're pretty good. That's nice, dear. Well, fuck you, too. No one on this <laughs> planet knows anything you listen to, Mr. I only listen to fe uh, French hip-hop or French whatever. That is not even hip-hop. I, don't really I listen to all to. sorts of shit, but none of it is French hip hop. <laughs> I, I really want to do to. a Legend of Korra edit with French hip hop in the background to make it really nice. 
I, I don't know. French, no, I just want to listen to French hip hop. What is French hip hop now? I don't know. Like, what is what French is hip hop? It, it I don't know. You brought like, it up. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know what it is. I, it sounded like something Steven would listen to. No. I think yes. Steven listens to like the exact opposite of hip hop. Yeah, pretty much. No, this is the French version, so it's like the version he likes because he is French now. You are French, Steven. Deal with it. I am? Okay. You are French. We I mean, Kevin Pauls doesn't even speak in French in most of their songs, so I don't think it counts. Most of it's in English. It's just they don't really speak very good English, so <laughs> it's just a few words. The most music I listen to, the most words I've ever hear is "bada bada bit a bit a bit a bit." Like it's not even words. It's like like that was even... Star Scat. That's one song. That that's like the only song I can ever remember you listening to, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? No, man. No, man. Speaking of them, I just got in a, their third album. I actually bought a physical copy, so I actually paid for some of their music. Isn't that great? Good job. I actually you don't pay for them. your music. Good job. Well, not really, no, because I'm poor. I'm if you want to pay for it, it has to be a physical copy. Like, I, I will only buy physical copies of music. I refuse to buy digital because it's stupid. No, I buy digital because I, I can never find physical copies. And I want to support the artist, so... Yeah, but the actual CD, it's really adorable. It's It looks like a vinyl record, and I love it. Like, I just want to hug it, but I can't because it's a CD. I'll ruin it. Aww. It's good shit. I can't uh, wait to listen to it. If we're doing a podcast, yeah, please hmm? don't. Don't bring up the Paul Steeman. <laughs> Paul Steeman gets very angry when copyrighted music appears. Let's the Paul Steeman? Did you just say the Paul Steeman? I said the Paul Steeman. The Paul Steeman. <laughs> yeah. That that chanting. By oh, Mersbow. Chanting, the chanting in the background. By Mersbow. Check over what? Right, guys. what? <laughs> pulse, pulse demon. By okay, Wolfgang, have you have you heard of Red? Not Red? the movie, not the film. Not the Red, film. the band. band. Have you heard of Red? No, I haven't. I have not. I told you, no either. one has ever heard of them. It's sad because I really List like. Listen out. What's the album? An album. Um. Let me name like their most recent one. Uh, the well, name, just name any It's like uh. I have it. Give me a second. Oh snap! He has it. Oh snap! I like them. They're really good. Isn't it? It's like oh, something snap. innocent. Wolfgang, what's your opinion on Owl City? On um, what? Owl City. Uh, I I actually like the track. Uh, what the fuck was that song? Fireflies. Yeah. I I I I, uh, I don't know. A beauty and rage. <laughs> Van- Vanilla Twilight. I don't remember. I just kind of remember I love liking City. it when I first listened But I like to his it. earlier works more than his current work, but his current work's good, too. But, um, anyway, uh, album title was, sorry. Of Beauty oh my God, and Rage. Oh, my God, came out this year? Uh, wait, hey, sorry. Beauty and Rage. Of Beauty and Rage. Of Beauty and Rage, okay. Of Mice and Men. That was... Bump, bump, bump. when you accidentally close all of your Chrome tabs? Their most recent album, I think, because I'm really bad keeping up with artists. But the, their so, album that drew that drew me to them was "End of Silence" by Red. What about what about Sika Sikai no Awari? I found them. You found Red? Yeah. I, I They're mean, a Nashville they alternative hard rock band. Yeah, they're pretty good. I I like them. Some of their songs, uh, especially recently, have been adding like this like uh, bit of techno to it. But what about? Really nice. Sikai no Owari. Who? From Japan. Beautiful, beautiful tracks. And let's talk about Hatsune Miku. Who? <laughs> you don't know who this Hatsune Miku no. is? That's actually somewhat... That's that's pretty... I understand Sikai no Owari, but... Hatsune Miku is pretty big. You realize I didn't even know what Brad Pitt looked like until I saw World War Z. What okay. the fuck? That that okay. is how bad I am with actors and directors and stuff. I I literally just I just don't. Well, know. Hatsune Miku isn't an actor or a director. Hatsune Miku's a vocaloid. 
Well, I'm bad with these people too. Like, I, I'm just bad with events outside my bubble. Like, you like you, uh remember what happened? We were talking about earlier how I, there was literally a plane what? on fire. I drove past that what plane what and I had no clue about that. That was sad. From, that was sad. Miku did planes. Okay, you know how Suni Miku, right, Wolfgang? The Challenger. Hmm? Oh, okay. Holy okay, shit, you know, the Squid Sisters you, aren't even sisters! Uh, you know Hasuni Miku, right? Is it, guys are yes, I do. Okay. Calendar. David Letterman appearance. Wait, wait, I, I was, I was, I'm gonna put you in speaker. The David Letterman appearance. You can't put it on speaker? I can't get, I can't put you guys in speaker. David Letterman appearance. I'll low-key listen to you. Just speak loudly. I can't speak loud, man. My roommate just told me they're recording and I have to be quiet. We're Let's recording. It anyway. But it's. I don't want to be rude to them either. They're not being loud and obnoxious. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Best favorite Marilyn Manson album. Let's go. I have no opinion. I don't remember too many of his albums. I only know like two or three songs. Oh god, really far. Hi. What was that? I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna die, guys. Guys, I need to tell you something. Tell us before we die. Once upon a time, there laid a man. And? Oh. What? Did, did he just. Spooky things. Oh, Joseph's dead. <laughs> what the fuck? It just happened. Oh. They, um. Everyone is dying. Um. Everyone is dying. Um. <laughs> everyone is literally dying. Joseph's broken. Hi. No, he's here. Well, there you are. Wolfgang's Wolfgang dead, died. What happened to Wolfgang? I don't know. He was telling this spooky story, and then he just stopped talking, and then he died. I think that was the story, guys. <laughs> guys, you're dying. Let's have a moment in silence. The super sea shells in Splatoon are called the super turbine shells in Japan. It's really Who cute. Who the fuck cares? Well, I'm on the Splatoon wiki because I'm trying to organize my soundtrack because I I just unlocked the uh the I can't read my TV from here. Squid Beats uh mini game. Are you using playing the video games again on stream? No, on no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not playing a game. But anyway, the Squid Beats thing isn't even a game. It's just a music player, and it actually gives you all the official names for the entire soundtrack. And they're all made by imaginary bands within the Splatoon universe. And I think it's really cool. So I'm trying to organize my shit and really know the real titles because I love the Splatoon soundtrack. All right. Well. I was going to wait for Wolfgang, but I mean, we're starting to enter that two-hour mark again, and I honestly feel that the podcast is kind of coming to a close. So no one's going to listen to this. People do listen to this. Why do you feel... No one's no... going to sit through this. <laughs> I have people who sit through this. What the fuck are you talking about? I know people who sit through this and actually like our podcast. What is your fucking But aren't they problem? usually like an hour long? What? Aren't they usually like an hour long? No, I I've watched podcasts no. that are like two or two and a half hours long. We went over this. No, this one. This one? Our first one was two hours. It, it seems like the more unorganized we are, the more we go on. It's pretty great. This whatever. One, our last one was an hour. Oh, Steven, you're high. Okay. Anyways, but um, just a reminder. Uh, as we, you know, with the SoundCloud thing, we're going to be uploading to other places. Uh, I think we're looking at Google Play and iTunes. I tried to get to iTunes, but I think we have a final way to actually try to upload to iTunes. And we'll SoundCloud's going to be the host, though, because we have to use the RSS feed from them. Yeah, but we'll still be uploading to SoundCloud. Just don't freak out uh, if episodes are missing. They're there, they're just hidden, but like I said, they're 
over at YouTube. So if you want to see some of the older episodes, they'll always be up on YouTube. Hopefully I can get them up on Google Play and uh, iTunes too. But as for SoundCloud, it's only going to be the most recent episode, and that's all I can really do. But, yep, that's it. Thank you for joining us on our Halloween special. I don't know what's up with Wolfgang and Joseph. Hi, I'm up in here. I'm just oh here. Okay. We'll say bye. Or Ni no. hao. Oh, okay. I'm kidding. Ni hao is high.